Today we're inside of one of the biggest Japanese thrift stores I have found yet and amazingly this one is right near Tokyo. Let me try to give you a peek at just how big this place is. This place is massive, even just panning around. Pan doesn't do it justice. This thing is almost like the size of a Walmart. I am so excited. I feel like a little kid right now. Don't even know where to start. Maybe we'll start with the gaming stuff, which is going to be right over here, right out of the gate. There is a bin with some retro gaming stuff. There is a Dreamcast right here, which is 5,400 yen. What is this? Dreamcast ASCII mission stick and a Sega Mega Drive. Mario Kart wheel too. There are Splatoon books. I didn't even know that Splatoon books existed. And look at the size of their vinyl section as well. <laughs> this, this is a lot of vinyls. I, I wonder what the prices are on these. Flipping through the records, it looks like most of them are around three to 500 yen. The whole aisle caught my attention as well. We've got old N64 controllers here for a thousand yen. We've got the Taiko no Tatsu. That's actually pretty expensive at 6,300 yen for that. And by far my favorite little section here, the old soft. We get Zelda here for 792 yen. They have multiple copies of it as well. They have Donkey Kong 64. <gasps> And this might be the first time that I have seen a copy of GoldenEye that isn't in a case somewhere. And at 3,000 yen with the current exchange rate, about 20 American dollars, this might be the cheapest copy I've ever seen. These are closer to 70 to 90 usually. But more impressively, never ending impressively, is the number of copies that are available in box like this. This is 480 yen for pilot wings in box, and the box is in nice condition as well. Mario Kart for 900 yen. <laughs> did you ever play Wave Race? My expectations for this game were so high and it did it did not deliver. Whole collection of Sega Saturn games. There's a Dragon Ball Z Super Famicom game here for 3,200 yen. These little Kirby's here are adorable, but they're about 2,000 yen a piece. And this Yoshi here is something I have wanted for the longest time, but I can't in my wildest dreams imagine spending 20,000 yen on it. Maybe another time, Yoshi. I was looking through the Game Boy games and <laughs> This Bomberman game comes in a tin. Mind you, it's 2,700 yen for this little tin, but still, it comes in a tin. I had no idea. They have Bewitched, and X-File, and The Walking Dead. And genuinely, I don't care what anybody says. Pierce Brosnan is and always will be the best 007. This entire area here is gonna be all movies and CDs. There's just aisles and aisles of it. So let's move on. We, I found mechs. Not everything from pre-built Gundams to build-it-yourself kits, this entire area. Yeah. It's just plastic models and a whole multi aisle section just for toy cars and airplanes too. Look at that airplane. That is 18. <laughs> These are expensive. That is 18,000 Japanese yen. This with no wings might be the cheapest at 2,200. The Pikachu 747 is 1,500. I feel like this is the kind of thing that would have resale value overseas. Since this plane here was recently destroyed, this is 30,000 Japanese yen, but I feel like this would have some overseas resale value as well. And the rest of this corner is going to be all plastic models and train stuff. In fact, there's an entire case of just train stuff right here. Oh. It's always so tempting to, you know, just, just put it down. We'll figure out what we buy at the end. Looks like they have Pokemon cards here as well. I mean, there's so much for me to look out for here. More models. There. <laughs> there's a Qui-Gon Jin there for 30,000 Japanese yen. Every time I do one of these videos, people are like, well, why, why didn't you buy anything? I, I, I do. I always buy. I buy way too much. In fact, I just do all my shopping at the end. This entire section that I just walk through is going to be all figures and... These are all the one piece ones. There are just so many, like there are aisles and aisles of figures here. Look at all the Dragon Ball Z ones here. Got them all in bags down here, ranging from a thousand yen, 1700 yen, 900 yen for that one, 2000 yen for the, <laughs> oh, my little brother Alexander would be dying in here. 
Last time he came to Japan, we did a massive day in Akihabara where he just went out and bought everything he wanted and it really got out of hand. As the name Book Off Super Bazaar would suggest, there are a lot of books, there's a lot of manga, they have photo books. <laughs> there are aisles and aisles of books. Honestly, way too much for me even to begin to show, so I found camping gear. Wait, what? They have a robot. <laughs> it's a robot. He has a face and a name. Fuku fuku kun. Outdoor and camping chairs and tables here. The entire area behind me is all surfboards and surfboard wax and more surfboards. And is that? We've actually got skateboards here. And there's usually some kind of knockoff. Wait, are these act? These are actual. Are all three of them? All three of these are actual penny boards. That is, they're in good condition and they're amazingly cheap. 4,000 yen and 5,000 yen. That's pretty much the best deal you're gonna get on a penny board. I'm genuinely just taken aback by how much camping gear they have. It's impressive. This is the biggest collection I have ever seen in a thrift store in Japan. There are aisles just for tents. There's camping gear galore. Tons of sporting stuff, got tennis rackets, kids bikes and quite likely a larger collection of golf clubs than oh my there are aisles and aisles and aisles just of golf clubs this is and this one is 800 yen lexus golf bag for 7000 yen and then immediately after that is the instrument section that's some nice look at this this guitar here is 4,000 yet? All of these are 4,000. Okay, not that one. That was 9,800. Electric guitars ranging from about 10,000 to 20,000 yen each. We got a bass guitar here for about 20,000 yen. This bad boy here is 50,000 yen. There's an entire wall of electric guitars that goes all the way down this way. Even got some ukuleles. There are radios and stereos here as low as 980 yen. We've got amps and turntables and speakers. Got guitar amps over here. Whole section for household products, coffee makers, waffle makers. This particular book off is in the upper edge of Kawasaki right near Tokyo. And while I have been into thrift stores in Japan that have bigger physical space, none of them are packed this tightly with stuff. Polaroid cameras, action cameras, lenses, and and there's iPhones here. In fact, they've got Marshall amps over here, a Meta Quest 2 for 33,000 yen, and then an iMac for 50,000 yen, and another one for 70,000 yen. And they come with the boxes. Did anybody else's grandparents' house also have these creepy clowns? Wow, these are 5,000 yen each. So I was about to say that this entire area is for antiques and art, and then I, I took a closer look at the art and realized that it's, it's just a puzzle that somebody has done for 3,000 yen. It's framed. There are, there are actually multiple puzzles that people have done. Also super authentic Van Gogh, only 6,000 yen. And they have old typewriters. This one's 3,000 yen, and this one is 1,300 yen. That is dirt cheap. Do I need a typewriter? They've got all the wooden statues of fish and old men you could ever want. And whatever this mystery table and box is. Any thoughts on what that is? I have no clue. We still didn't even finish up in the toy section. There are entire aisles left. We have not found the Pokemon cards yet. There are shoes, there are clothes. There's a luxury and alcohol section that we need to check. But you know, while we're doing a speed run of some of the clothes, because I always skip clothes and people get upset, I'd love to give some love to our sponsor, NordVPN. You probably know NordVPN. You may even be using them, but in case you're new to VPNs and what they can do, the simplest explanation is that they can make your computer or device look like it's accessing the internet from another country or location which can be particularly helpful for example in accessing some of your favorite streaming content that might not be available in your country. But I use NordVPN for two things. Number one is any time that I am attached to public Wi-Fi in order to keep my data safe and encrypted, especially in cafes or airports, because using public Wi-Fi without a VPN is otherwise essentially like being out in the wild, wild west. And number two is now that we are traveling again, I use the VPN to make it look like 
like I am doing my searches from within the country that I'm hoping to travel to, as this can often yield cheaper flights, hotels, etc. Now I keep NordVPN on almost all of my devices, and if you want to give it a try, you can use my link in the description box below along with the code TOKYOLENS and grab yourself a two-year plan at a huge discount, as well as four extra months for free. What's better is NordVPN also has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can essentially try it risk-free. That is the end of our ad segment, and my mind is still blown at just how much clothing is here. They've got this whole max 50% off section as well. So if you're like, this shirt would be 250 with that. That is incredible. Because it is so large, I feel like I gotta give a quick breakdown at least of the clothing section in here just so you can see how much it is. Super fast clothing speed run. But down here there's aisles and aisles just for kids and sports clothes. More kids stuff over here. Even more down here. You have the women's sale section, max 50% off again. So this shirt here would be again 250 for that. Entire sections just for jackets. They have sections just for kimono and obi and all of that. A massive rack for bags and shoes. Just keeps going and there's more. And then the whole men's section starts here. Multiple aisles just for shoes far more than I would ever be able to look at aisle for luxury brands like the 60,000 yen supreme jacket and this single supreme sleeve for some reason for 8,000 yen if you just wanted to wear a sleeve neckties and slightly more formal wear an entire section here just for leather jackets and <laughs> this is the best I, I, I think they mixed up their words it's mill Italy I, I think what they were probably going for is military but you know, somebody, somebody didn't spell check that one. So you have your 7,000 yen Mill Italy boots and this jacket from the US Army. A staggering amount of bags, long sleeve shirts and pants. You could do a 30, 40 minute video just about clothing in this shop. It just, it doesn't end. All of these aisles look like they are gonna be a ton of fun with little knickknacks, like costumes and everything. But this section here is 110 yen section. There are just bins and bins of little trinkets and knickknacks like this. And as seems to be the thing with every single thrift store we've ever visited, Abacus. <laughs> they are everywhere. Little Dragon Ball plates for 110 yen each. Do they all have the same character? Is it all, <gasps> they're all different. Super Dragon Ball heroes, interesting. Little photo albums, frames, tons of cups and pots. Entire buckets just for towels, more towels. If you want the J Soul Brothers, there's your buddy. I always like opening up fans when I find them. Don't know why. That can't just be me, right? Empty box for a mobile phone case. We have yarn. <laughs> this is just a smorgasbord. And a penguin. Not to mention the number of branded glasses, like the premium malts cup and the McDonald's glasses. I have got to get out of that aisle. There's far too much to look at. You get tons of vases and whatnot down in this aisle. And then in this aisle, we are greeted with tripods and for some reason, binoculars and globes. And a home planetarium. I think this is one of the ones that lights up your ceiling and it's only 1,320 yen. Plus we have more abacus, abacamai, abba, abba kisses is right over here but I just can't believe the amount of time and plastic that has gone into wrapping all of their lacquerware in here and whenever I come out to these oh no way the excitement here is so real this is probably the single biggest collection of Fire King and Pyrex products I've ever seen in Japan. I look for these every single time I come into thrift stores and I can never find them here in Japan. But the thing that makes these crazy is the prices on them. You're looking at anywhere from 4,000 yen to 8,000 yen, sometime even 20,000 yen for these products. Which is bonkers considering that pretty much everybody's grandparents had these in their house. I have a small collection that I've managed to put together, but also my Patreon crew has managed to send me a few Fire King Pirates cups, so I love you for that. Thank you so much. And an entire wall of Zippo lighters, which is one of the few products in the world that still has a lifetime warranty, believe it or not. And this is probably my first time ever to see a collection of gemstones available for sale, especially in a thrift store. 
Feels like the kind of stuff you would find in a farmer's market. I was just about to leave and then realize that this mini and Mickey Mouse cup is a hundred thousand yen. Look up your exchange rate on that one, because that is an expensive cup. But speaking of expensive, there's a luxury and alcohol section here that I want to take a quick peek at, because I think I found the Pokemon card section. Again, kind of putting the scale of this store in perspective, this whole back corner is luxury goods. You have coach bags here for 3,000 yen, and an entire section here with Louis Vuitton bags ranging from 20,000 yen and up, Louis Vuitton wallets, 50,000 yen and above, and Gucci shoes in case you want some Gucci shoes. An aisle for crystal wear in China over here, several aisles for watches, and then right beside all this jewelry, there's an entire section just for liquor for some reason. We've even got little mini bottles. 300 yen, 500 yen, basically an entire corner just for alcohol in your local thrift shop. Now, while Book Off Super Bazaar is a thrift store, it and many shops like it also act like resellers or wholesalers. And oh my, look at all the Lego. So much Lego. Huh. Lego break. Seriously, bags and bags of Lego for about 770 yen a piece. <laughs> this is Lego paradise. We've got the Super Mario Lego stuff as well. This one for 3,000 yen, and this one for 2,000 yen. Then they have the DeLorean from Back to the Future. You don't really grow out of Lego, do you? But because of that, it can sometimes be difficult to determine whether you're buying something that's actually used or whether you're buying something that's wholesale or resale because in Japan, items that are sold to these shops, look at all of this, by the way, tend to be really well taken care of. Okay, just a quick breakdown of this because I can't not do that. We got a whole bunch of little plushies over here. We have um pum. This entire section here is just um pum man stuff. And then we get into all the Ultraman stuff, the Kamen Rider stuff down here. There is, there is a lot. This is kind of, it's actually visually overwhelming to stand here and look at all this. We have little mini cars over here, anime and game stuff, tiny kid toys, and just so much. Like, look at this. These Dragon Balls, I have no idea what this is, but I <laughs> I can guarantee you I'll probably be walking out of here with it and the entire aisle just of Pokemon cards. T toys all down this side and then from here and beyond is Pokemon cards and other trading cards. You've got entire buckets here just with cards at 33 yen a piece and a lot of them too and also at 33 yen are these mizasta tags these are for a game that you play at a machine that you'll often find in places like yodobashi camera pokemon cards are becoming impossible to buy in japan and up until recently i'd be able to buy blocks of cards like this thick for like 800 900 yen at book off and hard off and whatnot but it's getting harder and harder to find this is an entire road just of playing cards they do have other brands of cards here like Dragon Ball heroes, but an entire wall just of Pokemon cards. And while the row continues all the way down there, I'm a little bit confused on their organization system for the Pokemon cards because in the exact same row that you'll have 80 yen cards, you also have cards for 50,000 yen or what's more, 316,000 yen. That card is 316 thousand yen. Still blows my mind that there are cards out there worth thousands of dollars. And Japan also has a lot of vending machines with Pokemon cards since they're pretty much impossible to get anywhere else. One of my favorites is in Akihabara but you'll also find them from time to time at the airport and and I almost forgot to show that there's an entire section here just for Gachapon. It's a whole Gachapon section. Also the Gachapon in the Tokyo Lens Studio. I think I finally figured out what I'm going to be putting in it. I ordered little pins of Shimayama-san's shop so that when I do Patreon gatherings in the studio, people can get a little Shimayama-san shop pin there. I think they're adorable, can't wait for them to arrive. Also this space to put in your used capsules is by far the coolest one I've seen yet. I almost want to come back to this place and do a full detailed live stream, but they keep playing copyrighted music, so. I don't know, maybe if I can convince them to turn it off for a day, but what did you think? Is there anything here that you would buy? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today, and you know I will see you again real soon.